Well, Frank, it's that time of year again. Perhaps one of the most anticipated games of the season, the first pre-season game coming up against Belmore United uh, on Wednesday night. How are you feeling going into it? Yeah, look, the boys have been, you know, we're in our fourth week now, so it's, um, they've been training well, um, great intensity, and, you know, this will be the first of, you know, up to 15 games for us. So, look, I think it's, they've had a lot of the ball on the park anyway, but uh, it's much probably nice to get them in a game situation. Um, each player will only will only play 45 minutes, um, so you know the, the time's being monitored over over the course of the pre-season. But first game's always always nice to get out in the park. Is this the time where it kind of ramps up a bit? There's been quite a long off season, and now we're back into game time, and the players look forward, I suppose, a bit more to to what's ahead. They do. I mean, they're, they're, you know, all players love to play games, uh, so. You know, the first of many in the pre-season, as, as, as you said, it's a long pre-season. But um, it's structured, you know. As I said, no one will play 90 minutes. Uh, everyone will only play maximum 45 in this first game. Um, and we'll, you know, build on that as we go along. But fans turning up should expect to see most of the players, including the, the new signings, at least for some of the game. Oh, for sure, for sure. You know, the only ones, uh, Alessandro's won't be here. Uh, Yaro won't be here as well. Uh, but, you know, everyone else... Uh, we'll, we'll be seen at some stage. You mentioned Yairo. He's coming back for, for one more season with us. How pleased are you to have, have clinched that deal? Look, it's good. Um, you know, Yairo missed a lot of games last year through international duty. And, um, but he's young, he's 23. Uh, and he scored six goals, I think, in ten appearances last year. So that was the key. You know, and coming to a new country, new culture, new football culture, it's always difficult. And you know, someone who... He's young, as the attributes that he, he has, which is you know, he's very quick, he can score goals. Um, but, you know, we thought it was well worth a, a, another look for another season where he won't have any transitional period in terms of, you know, settling into the country. Uh, so, you know, hopefully he can, he can improve on that, that goal tally. Six goals in ten games is, is not bad. He actually finished, I think, in the top five of the, the Player of the Year uh, competition as announced at the awards night. So... Uh, you'll be hoping for more of the same, perhaps, and uh, for him to, to improve. Exactly. I'm expecting you know more from him. I, I'm expecting him to be better. You know, if you ask any football manager or any football club in the world what what their priority is, and it would be you know a striker who can score goals and you know has pace, uh, is comfortable on the ball, and he's he you know he, he ticks all those boxes. So, and again, he's young. So, without painting too pretty a picture, uh, I'm expecting you know. Yarrow to be better than what he was last year. And just finally, on in terms of the squad, uh, is that it for, for Sydney FC? Are we settled with what we've got, or maybe one, possibly two more? Possibly one, possibly one more. But uh, at the moment, um, yeah, there's still a few things in the, in, in the air, but um, there's no real point in discussing those at this stage. But we've st still certainly got spots available.